Well, here we are at the ICC Cricket Academy, the night before the big semi-final against New Zealand. England obviously practising behind us. New Zealand are just on the next ground along there. Michael, we just spoke to the England captain, Owen Morgan. Big game, but he seems as relaxed as ever. I think he's very excited. He is relaxed, as you say, but he's super excited. It's the eve of a World Cup semi-final, something we never experienced, but he has already experienced once or twice. Um, and obviously they have a wonderful opportunity now to uh, two matches away from holding both World Cups at the same time, 50 over and 20 over. And I was thinking today, actually, it's, there's a broader opportunity here for Owen Morgan and his team when you think that next year there's another World T20 in Australia and the following year after that, a 50 over World Cup in India, four basically World Cups in four or five years, a real opportunity to perhaps just say, you know, what a, what a dominant side we are. Decisions to be made. Obviously, Jason Roy uh, pulled his calf against South Africa a couple of nights ago. We were here early, as was Johnny Bairstow. He was in the net. Do you see that as any kind of indication, or is that the way you would go, Johnny Bairstow, straight into open? It's certainly the way I would go. Whether that's why he was here ahead of his teammates, I don't know. He's, he's not had much batting, has he, in this tournament, for two reasons. One, a lack of opportunity, because England have won some games so comfortably. And when he has had the opportunity in charge, he's got, been got out early by that low skidding... Uh, surface, a couple of leg spinners have, have got him out. So I think he's just here to have a bit of a hit, feel bat on ball. My expectation is that he will open. I think it's the right thing to do. I don't think England lose anything actually by having Johnny Bairstow at the top of the order compared to Jason Roy, which is not to say anything other than Jason Roy is an outstanding cricketer, but I think Johnny Bairstow is equally so, if not more so. And Sam Billings, who has been Given the role in the past of a finisher in England's white ball side, I think he can slip in in that lower middle order. So that's what I think they'll do. And their opponents, New Zealand, what have you made of them in the tournament? Where's their strengths and weaknesses? <coughs> Different strength to England. England's strength is batting, bat deep, hitters, top of the order and middle order. New Zealand, I think their strength is in their bowling, particularly so since they've given Devon Conway the gloves and they've got an extra bowler in there. So they've got a very smart opening partnership in Trent Bolt and Tim Southey. Milne provides pace, a couple of spinners and then the extra bowler. So they've got a pretty varied attack and they are less comfortable in high scoring games. They try and hold opponents down to that 150 mark with brilliant bowling and excellent in the field. They've been the best fielding side that I've seen and then hope that Kane Williamson can just hold the innings together as he does so well. And the venue, Abu Dhabi, in a night game, an evening game, does that hold any advantage to either side? And do you think the toss is a, a massive factor? Well, that's the imponderable with, with the dew. If the dew is there, then there is definitely an advantage, and that's not ideal in a, in a one-off knockout World Cup semi-final. That's where we are. In terms of the ground itself, I'm a bit conflicted because I think it's the highest scoring venue here of the three, and I think that plays to England's strength, better batting pitch. But I also think some of the boundaries are bigger than you might see at Sharjah, for example, and that will allow a bit of protection for New Zealand against England's power hitters in the middle. So maybe those two things even themselves out. Well, England are two wins away from creating history, really, and holding both trophies together, the 50-over World Cup and the 20-over World Cup. We're on air tomorrow, 1.30 on the Cricket Channel.